let's not forget what we come here for. We come here for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, first and foremost, um, here on Jeremy Channel 333. What are you doing, Nala? <laughs> Hers wanting attention, isn't her? <laughs> uh, love that cat. Uh, well, I've come to deliver on the uh, rapture scripture that I promised. Um, I was actually going to do a video a couple days ago and uh, just hit up with the distractions as usual. And uh, this is the first time I think I've really had the time and the energy and everything all together to, to do the video. So, <laughs> uh, those of you who follow the channel regularly, you know, I'm adamant about, I do believe that rapture is nigh or coming upon us. Uh, now that I'm going to believe it might be tomorrow. No, I mean, it could be three years from now, but, uh, like some others, I do believe that it'll probably happen before then. Um, there's things, too much going on prophetically, speeding up prophetically, too much scripture happening before our eyes. And uh, there's just too much um, circumstances, especially uh, you look at the um, the end times timepiece, which is Israel. Uh, there's just too much going going uh, at a speedily rate and it's not slowing down to suggest that it could be could be put off uh, I those who follow in times dreams and visions you know uh, Bob Barber and, and uh, you know he has like a, a little scale or a map thing that he done, has done I suggest anyone to go and watch his videos uh, it's very interesting, and uh, you know the, they talk about the Smita cycle and judgment and calendar and all that stuff. Uh, it's really a, an interesting watch. Uh, my cat right now, she's desperate for attention. I I give her attention all the time, but all of a sudden I start doing this video. Now she's really <laughs> uh, what you doing? Well, anyways. Uh, we're going to go into the scripture. Um, one of the uh, scriptures is Luke 17, 34 to 37. Uh, we've had uh, quite a bit of scripture. I've had quite a bit of scripture revealed to me. And, uh, but I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to really deliver, stay and deliver on this and let you see some other point of views besides what I usually give. Um, okay, it's Luke 17, 34 to 37. I tell you, in the right, <clears throat> excuse me, I tell you that in the night, I tell you that in the night, there shall be two men in one bed. One shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two men shall be in the field. That one shall be taken and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. Okay. Now this passage is pretty adamant about, uh, and this is the Lord speaking, it's, pre it's pretty adamant that he's telling you that when it does happen, um, it, it kind of verifies other scriptures, you know, what Paul was talking about, where, uh, you know, uh, the will come as a thief in the night, uh, and all these things. So, you know, uh, 
it pretty much verifies that. And, and that's the Lord speaking. He's saying, you know, it'll come upon you in an hour you may not expect. And uh, you'll be working in a field and one of you will be taken and one will be left behind. Okay. Uh, first, first Corinthians 15, 52. First Corinthians fifteen fifty two. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Now this is Paul speaking, but this is what I was this is the very passage. It's it's wild how it's amazing how the Lord works with us. This passage is the passage I'm talking about that verifies what Paul Paul is talking about. And there you see it. You know, uh, the dead will be raised incorruptible, and uh, when the, the remaining that live get taken, you know, we'll have uh, new glorified bodies. Okay, we're at Revelations 3.10. Nala's a little bit jumpy and antsy, more so often than she usually is. Uh, Revelations 3.10. Because thou hast kept the word, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all of the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay. Now this passage, I really love this passage because uh, this really smashes uh, any obscenity, uh, insanity on the fact that people don't believe in rapture and they just believe in just a second coming alone. Because what he's saying here is, is when tribulation comes, his church will not be here. You know, it's, he's pretty adamant. And this is the Lord speaking. He said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the, the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. The only time that, those will be tried, will be those tribulation saints. So there you have it. You can clearly see the Lord is telling you that he will not allow his church to be here the moment of the uh, tribulation. Okay. We have Daniel 12, 1 and 2. Daniel 12, 1 and 2. See, I told you, there's also Old Testament. I haven't even scratched the surface of the Old Testament. Okay. 12, 1 and 2. And at that time shall Michael stand up, and the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, and every one that shall be found written in the book. See, there's another one verifying. <clears throat> um, it's backing up and proving that you know if you're written in the book, you're a child of God, and you're in the the church. Once again, is sitting here is verifying, and that uh, when this time of tribulation has never been upon man, comes upon man, and the world is getting tried. Uh, it says, they will be delivered. Thy people shall be delivered. Every one of them is found written in the book. So once again, you, you can clearly see that this is so. Okay. That is pretty much where I'm going to go scripture-wise. <laughs> Uh, for now, for the time being, uh, I think that uh, what I really want uh, many to understand and see here, besides uh, really getting this hitting home with the fact that uh, rapture is very real and it it's imminent, and um. Like I say, there's a few scriptures that uh, you have the temple 
the third temple, many believe it will be built. Uh, there's just not much going uh, left. I even read an article or uh, seen another YouTube channel, and I didn't go and watch the video. I wanted to, and I forgot about it. It slipped past me uh, about uh, Israel and uh, more more information about now times and, and uh, scripture and stuff uh, about happenstances that, that are going on over there. And um, it's almost sitting past me again. Uh, oh, the main thing was, and the title was, that they believed that... Um, a peace treaty was being confirmed, and uh, that throws heeds of caution because, to me, that will put us even a lot closer on the timeline than what I would even expect. Uh, but I can't go verify it one way or the other. So, if you ask me, this ain't made in mainstream news or big headline news. So I don't really think uh, it could be a clickbait type of thing, you know. Uh, many YouTubers use those those clickbaits to get people to watch their videos. So, uh, of course, I've seen in the past before where they would make these claims and then go in and watch it, and, and they just pretty much hum haul about the subject, but it's not. It didn't really take place. So what I'm figuring is is there's probably something around the corner looming there in the corner that. Uh, this might possibly be getting set up. Now, there, there's definitely, uh, I do know that's a truth, that there is a possibility that that could be uh, set up already. Uh, we know uh, former President Trump, he had a um, type of a peace agreement that was made over there. So uh, it could definitely, there is a peace of agreement that can be confirmed. So, uh it, it can certainly, certainly can happen, but let's just remember, uh, it's none of our own doing. It's what the Lord done for us at Calvary at the cross. Uh, he pardoned us just like he said he would do. Like he told the, the prophet Isaiah, he said, uh, I tell you, surely I will come and fulfill my prophecy i will you know i'll see everyone white as snow uh those who believe so uh what we have he already done that so you know all sins past present and future are forgiven us we are pardoned and that is the true gospel there's no other gospel i mean there are other gospels but that uh, is written it says uh, if any comes with any other gospels, uh, let's just remember kingdom gospel is past tense. You know, uh, when Peter kind of passed the torch to Paul and, and basically above all, the Lord came to Paul and Paul's purpose was to speak to the world and the Gentiles so that all would get the message. And so we are in the dispensation of grace now that is going to come to a halt, to an end, and the kingdom gospel will be replaced again according to Revelations. Uh, if you read right Revelations past Revelations 3, you'll see it clearly comes back into play. An angel will come and announce it and stuff. And this will be well after the Lord raptures the church, of course. Well, do not forget to pray for one another pray for this virus situation there's several of my co-workers who are out right now on COVID-19 leaves uh, I stand here and I just praise the Lord God Almighty Father Abba and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that <clears throat> I've been kept you know I, I'm I do not have the virus and I'm doing good so praise the Lord for that uh, I tell people time and time again there's many miracles you know out there and uh, many answer prayers so but God bless each and every one of you. I'm, I'm signing off. I'm going to get out of here.